So we have the koi pond filtration system basically all plumbed. We don't have the arrow done yet, but I want to tie all these lines in from the suctions to the returns. All these elbows that I have hanging to make their way back underneath, uh, underneath grade, they're, they're not glued yet. But I'm going to go ahead and, and start to run my verticals. And at the bottom, I'm going to have these elbows, these nice sweeping elbows. And I'm not going to glue the very bottom yet because I'm going to figure out just exactly how I want it to sit before I do that. And what here's an interesting thing I want to tell you. Everything that is above grade, I will have in, in rigid PVC, like hard PVC pipe, schedule 40. And everything below grade on the tie-ins, I'll be tying in with this flexible PVC pipe. And it gives us a lot of freedom, makes the, makes the install real simple and clean. And uh, you're going to want to probably use some of this. If you can, if you can go for it with, with hard pipe, that's fine. But this will provide you with um, more freedom and bend in the pipe so you won't have to use as many hard fittings. So I'm going to get going on this glue process right now. So we have all of our pipes stubbed down below grade. Uh, this particular sweep that I have, it's actually a short collared sweep. So there's not a lot of room to glue in. Now if I'm gluing to schedule 40 PVC or schedule 80, that's not a problem. But if I'm gluing to flex pipe, it makes me a little bit nervous because there's a little bit of flexibility in there and I just don't feel like I get a good enough bite when I'm going to flex. So I'm taking an extra step because I believe it's worth it to throw the flex in there because it gives me some freedom. So what I'm doing is, uh, I have a little stub and then I'm going to put a deep socket coupler on there. I'll glue these together and then I will glue in my flexible pipe in here so I'll have plenty of, of gluing area and then I'll make my connections on the vertical. And I haven't glued the bottom piece coming up yet because once I get the flex pipe in I can move them around and then get it glued and then um, make my sweeps just the way I want them. So I'm going to go ahead and get these uh, couplings prepared. So now I feel comfortable, I have this big socket to put my, my PVC and a flexible pipe into. The one thing is, this is not glued yet, this piece right here, because I might want to rotate it a little bit. And uh, if you pass off this job to someone else halfway through, make sure everyone knows about the fittings that might not be glued yet. Otherwise, you might miss one. And that is not good. You know why I know that? Because we've done it. I'll admit it. That's how we learn. I passed off uh, one little section like this to one of my one of my journeyman plumbers, and he I don't think I've ever had a leak from him. But I did the pass off and he thought I had everything glued. So we had a little leak to contend with. It was easy to fix, but it was frustrating in the beginning. But that's how I know how to give you these tips and tricks because I've learned a lot of these things the hard way. And I'm not afraid to share them with you guys. So now what I'm going to do, I have reserved some flex pipe. I cut some five foot increments and have them ready to go right now. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these guys in and let them harden off while I work on something else.
All right, I have all my, all my leads ready. I ran my three quarter inch air line that's back here on my tie-ins. I ran it over here so I can have that stubbed up. But I can go ahead and get these guys glued in now. And my run's pretty, some dirt in that one. My runs are pretty straight over here, so I don't have to curve my, my uh, fittings very, very much. I'm just gonna get this one. These two are probably gonna be straight shots, and that one I'm just gonna curve this way a little bit, and then the, I'll let the flex pipe do the rest of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie these in. Next. Okay, those three are ready. And I can just sweep them right into my tie-ins right there. I'm gonna go ahead and let those short couplings harden off for just a second. And I'm gonna finish up with my air.